Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, Draymond Green, and the 7th and 14th picks in the NBA draft. The Golden State Warriors have an incredibly great problem to have. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Guys, we are here once again in my mom's office with a Golden State Warriors video for you. Now, this is such a good problem to have, especially considering they have guys like Andrew Wiggins, Kevon Looney, Jordan Poole. This draft is going to tell us a lot about the Golden State Warriors. Personally, I don't think that they make any trades for any superstar players. I don't think James Wiseman gets traded. I totally forgot to mention James Wiseman as well. I want to talk about James Wiseman a lot because this is a player who barely, he got one week of practice before he came onto the team. And this is a player that had to play with Steph Curry and just kind of the Warriors offense, something he is not familiar with. And by no means did Steve Kerr and the Warriors offense have like specific set plays for James Wiseman to go off. Basically what I mean by that is there weren't like pick and rolls plays for him. There were, there were no set plays for James Wiseman in that offense. It was basically just revolving around one of the greatest shooters of all time, Steph Curry. And with the Golden State Warriors, you have your main core of group. You've got Steph, Clay, and Dre. And you've got Steph Curry looking maybe the best he has ever looked right now. All of these guys are still in their prime. They've got the young pieces. They've got James Wiseman. I don't think that they should mess with this too much. I think what the Golden State Warriors should do is at number seven, pick Moses Moody because what Moses Moody can bring to this team, I mean, this guy averaged like 17 last year in college at Arkansas. He can bring in that scoring off the bench, that attitude of where it's like, wherever you need me to fill in, I will come fill in, do my role, and we will be set. And that is exactly what Moses Moody can bring you. And at number seven, that is totally doable that is probably like he probably will be on the board at seven for him you don't want Mulder coming out of the bench anymore you don't want damian lee coming off the bench anymore there's nothing wrong with those two guys but like come playoff time those are not who you want coming off the bench so the golden state warrior it's just a great problem to have right now because you have one part of the gm one part of the team is saying we have this core group of guys, we need to get them the proper help. And then you have this other side where it's like, we'll hold the phone, we drafted Steph, we drafted Clay, we drafted Dre, and that got us to this position now. So let's just pick the best available players moving forward for long-term success as well. So you have these two sides of the spectrum for the Golden State Warriors and both sides, you really can't go wrong because at the end of the day, you've got Steph Curry, man got Klay Thompson, you've got Draymond Green. We'll see what Klay Thompson can bring to the table next season for the Golden State Warriors. I don't think that they make any crazy moves. I really don't think that they make any crazy moves because James Wiseman's gonna come back much more improved next season. He's gonna be healthy next season. Klay Thompson's gonna be healthy next season. And then you've got Steph and Dre that glue, baby. Dre's that glue, man. The Golden State Warriors win zero championships if Draymond Green was not on that team. I will die by that take. So what do you do if you're the Golden State Warriors? What do you do? I want to hear down below what you guys would do if you're the Golden State Warriors because this is such a good problem to have. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the like button, hit the sub button. I'll see you guys later.